Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on the channel. I have some breaking news updates about the upcoming 2025 Hyundai Tucson refresh, and that is the fact that it is currently delayed. So yes, Hyundai has delayed production uh, of the 2025 Tucson about six weeks or two months or so, uh, based on the information I was able to, uh, to obtain from Hyundai. And that means the 2024 current model is extended with some updates to production, uh, given the fact that Hyundai probably already, you know, stopped ordering supplies and parts for the 2024 models, which means they probably have a little bit of a reduced parts catalog, which means certain trim levels are already out of production. Other trim levels are getting some modifications to what features and options are found on them, including this SEL as seen behind me. And that means there's also gonna be a couple pricing updates as well. So uh, stay tuned, there's gonna be a quick informational video going over some of the changes uh, to the rest of the 2024 production, as well as those pricing and any other information I have about the upcoming 2025 refresh. Now, before we get into talking about those changes, I do wanna quickly read the statement that Hyundai has put out about the 2025 production being delayed. So it says, the 2025 model year Tucson start of production has been delayed for reasons beyond our control to late July. In order to support our dealers summer sales selling season, HMA has extended production on the 2024 model year Tucson, which dealers have seen in recent allocations and will continue to see uh, in the upcoming allocations. Due to the delay in production, HMA will be canceling 2025 Tucson orders from the system. Dealers can expect to see the 2025 Tucson in future allocations based on their updated sales and inventory data. So that is basically it as far as what Hyundai and the information they have released about when we will see the 2025 production actually start and uh, when dealers will actually start to receive those vehicles. So if production doesn't start till roughly late July, I would expect to see at least six weeks go by before those dealers actually make it onto dealership lots, uh, which effectively pushes it near, you know, September or so before the 2025 Tucson's uh, will actually make their way into dealership lots, which I believe is roughly a two month delay from when the original uh, date was actually supposed to occur. I believe they're actually supposed to be in production already as we speak. So that's pretty much the updates as far as the 2025 model year production. Now, when it comes to the 2024s, as I mentioned, they are extending the production run uh, with some updates and changes, which is pretty interesting, uh, but does make sense given the parts catalog is likely reduced uh, just due to inventories and suppliers uh, and stuff like that. Now in front of me, I have a 2024 standard SEL all-wheel drive Tucson, and this is one of the trim levels that is going to be impacted by the changes for the rest of the 2024 production. Now the standard SE, SEL, and the SEL convenience are the three trim levels that are impacted uh, by the extended uh, production and the updates. Now the SEL convenience is uh, impacted in the fact that it is actually no longer in production as of 4 30 2024 according to hyundai and uh it currently looks like that vehicle will not re-enter production until uh the 2025 model year when it is obviously reintroduced for the refresh uh, but in terms of what is impacted for the standard base sc trim level that vehicle is now getting the 10.25 inch digital instrument cluster as part of the standard equipment. So uh, you're gonna get the nicer updated digital cluster in the base model uh, Tucson SE, which is very interesting. That also carries over to the standard SEL. However, the standard SEL is also getting the 19 inch alloy wheels to replace these current 17 inch silver painted alloy wheels that this particular one in front of me has. Now, both of those changes to the SE and the SEL will come at a small price increase. The standard SE will go up $100 and the SEL as seen in front of me will go up $250 uh, with the upgraded digital dashboard as well as those 19 inch alloy wheels on the exterior. But outside of that, there is no other changes to the trim lineup. The XRT, uh, the Limited and stuff like that will continue on uh, in their current form factors unchanged uh, according to Hyundai. Now there are gonna be some updates in terms of the color availability. Uh, certain colors are already discontinued and are simply no longer being built as of this point, but most of the colors are still gonna be available at least in a uh, reduced sort of capacity. So the current colors that Hyundai lists are still in production is the white pearl, black pearl, shimmering silver, Hampton gray, ultimate red, as well as the deep sea exterior, which is only found currently on the XRT. So if you want a deep sea that is not going to be an XRT for the 2024 model years, I would highly recommend 
trying to find leftover inventory as we speak because that color is certainly already harder to come by and I'm sure will be pretty much impossible as time goes on. And of course, as we know, Intense Blue, uh, which is actually found on that Elantra right there, has already been discontinued uh, months ago on the 2024 Tucson. Uh, so if you're really looking for that color, I uh, highly recommend checking to find one out if there is even inventory still available with that color. But Amazon Gray was a hybrid only color. Don't really have much updates on the hybrid uh, for the 2024 model year or the rest of the 2024 model year as Hyundai hasn't really released that information. Uh, but those are still going to be built over in Korea. So uh, production might not be impacted on those in specific. But uh, yeah, it looks like that is pretty much going to be it as far as the updates and the information I have. I will go ahead and show you the base instrument cluster here on this particular one, just so you guys know what is exactly changing. So there is going to be the standard instrument cluster on the SE and the SEL. As you can see, it has the small 4.2 inch screen in the middle and then the analog gauges on the sides. That is going to be replaced by the 10.25 inch digital, which does actually change the dashboard layout quite a bit uh, in terms of this hood and stuff like that as the panel is kind of uh, a little bit closer to the driver in and of itself. So uh, do keep that in mind if you're looking at a late model 2024 Tucson really moving from here on forward. I believe the eight inch screen is staying. There's no change there. So it's literally probably just gonna be the dashboard panel and then the upgraded technology and then the 19 inch alloy wheels on the exterior. So I think that's pretty much gonna do it here for the updates on the 2024, 2025 model year Tucson. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and or found something helpful. If you did, make sure to hit that like button below. It greatly helps out the channel's videos. Subscribe if you haven't already and let me know what you guys think of the delay in production and does this impact your buying decision for the 2024 or 2025 Tucson? down in the comment section below. Uh, I think it's great that Hyundai has decided to extend production to help dealers out with inventory as it is kind of dwindling down in terms of what is readily available. So I'm sure this next you know month or so of production will really help boost inventories and uh, help dealers bridge that gap until the 2025s are actually available and in production. Now, uh, I'm sure we're gonna see 2025 model year changes in their full entirety released from Hyundai across the model lineup here very, very shortly, probably over the next week or so. So make sure you guys stay tuned here on the channel for that as I will have videos coming out about select models and what is changing there. I do know the 2025 Kona is getting a revised inline trim level. Uh, I think it is going to be based more on the SEL convenience package, which with the turbo engine and a couple other items, instead of being its own standalone trim level. So if you're interested in a 2024 or 2025 Kona N-Line in specific, that is getting some key changes. And I'm sure we're gonna know more about 2025 Palisade, relatively unchanged, uh, more about the Ionic 6, the Santa Fe will be very interesting and vehicles like that over the next, you know, hopefully days, if not week or two. So make sure you guys stay tuned here on the channel for that. More information will be coming shortly, but just want to shoot this quick video and update on the 2024 and 2025 Tucson. So leave all that comments and feedback down in the comment section below. As always, I appreciate the support and hope to see you guys in the next one.